In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple dashboard with filters and then show you how to link the filters to all of the reports so that they work as one unit. First, we'll go to the plus sign over here on the right and we'll create a new dashboard. Now by default, Yellowfin uses this canvas style layout for freeform dashboards. We'll get into that in another video, but that essentially allows you to create pixel perfect dashboards that are highly stylized. For the purposes of what we're doing here today, we're going to stick with a row and column grid. We go over to the left and we start looking for the reports we want to add. I'll choose this KPI report and I'm prompted to select the visualization in the report I want to use. I already know which one it is, but if I didn't, I could cycle through them, picking one and then selecting a different visualization with the button over on the right menu here. Bringing in another report to its side. And this time I'm just going to select the first visualization. So we've got two here, and I'm going to go ahead and add, just for good measure, another report below them that shows a trend. Now each of these reports has different filters associated with it, and if we want to get into that, one of the things we can do is just go to filters and say, you know, let's add this to the dashboard and global content over here on the left. So now we have a left pane of filters available. And we want to start adding filters from each of these reports. So I'll go in and I start selecting premium category, flavored flag, celebrity owned flag. Each of these is filters that comes from one of these reports. And then they show up in their default formatting and uh, entry options over here on the left panel. Now's where we want to link them. So when we select one of these, we can select the field in each of these reports that relates to the filter that we've selected to have available to the user. So they select something in premium category and for sales KPI this year compared to last year, we're going to select the field premium category. Same thing for volume sales versus target. For the flavored flag, same thing. We're just picking the field that we want to filter on when this option is selected. Notice that for most of these, Yellowfin has actually automatically detected the field that would be appropriate to link to each of these filters. That's because by default, this automatically linked filters is on. If it wasn't, or if we wanted to select a different field, we would just use the drop down menu I just showed you to do that. If we hit apply, now when we go in and make a selection in this filter, it updates all of the reports to be filtered that, by that one field. I can now save this dashboard under my tutorial and training folders and then here it is. And so it's complete now with each of these being linked to every report on the dashboard. 